Tonight, investigators are combing through the mangled wreckage of a small plane that crashed and burst into flames at the Van Nuys Airport, killing two men. Neighbors fear the next accident could come down on their homes. KKL News reporter Lauren Posen is live at the Van Nuys Airport with the very latest. Lauren? Oh, Pat, a very big concern for those neighbors. We'll get to that part in just a second. I want to show you, though, what's left of the plane is right behind me. A little difficult to see at night, but you can see some of those patrol cars there. And basically what officers are doing is they're guarding what's now considered to be the debris field because that's what investigators are going to go through to try to figure out what caused this plane to go down. This small plane is barely recognizable after crashing nose first into the ground Wednesday morning at Van Nuys Airport, erupting into flames and killing the two men on board. We were told that this uh, fixed wing aircraft, which carries the fuel in the wings, had aviation gas, which is highly flammable. KCAL News obtained audio from the air traffic control tower before and after the plane went down. We are some power loss. Hey, Trans power system. I already landed. Third land, any runway. Any yeah, runway, thank you. That works, do you sit down? Yeah, yeah, we're on a phone with the crash people as, as we speak right now. The plane crashed into an area where helicopters are based. It's also across the street from a neighborhood. We've been saying it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when something like this happens. Steinberg says the crash has brought to the forefront a big worry. We live with this fear daily that something is going to come down in our neighborhood. This is not the first crash that's happened. She's not wrong. In March, this small plane that looks upside down crashed. And in April, a helicopter lost a skid as it came into land. No one was hurt in either incidents. But in 2020, a plane crashed next to the airport, killing two people. And in 2016, a plane crashed after takeoff into an industrial building, killing the pilot. The plane in Wednesday's crash was a CSA sports cruiser like this one. Max Trescott, flight instructor and host of the Aviation News Talk podcast, says engines on bigger jets tend to be more reliable than the ones on smaller planes. The other big difference would be that you always have in an airliner two pilots, and two pilots is always much safer than, than having one pilot, which is very common in uh, small airplanes. As NTSB and FAA investigators work to figure out what went wrong, Steinberg wants the airport to be reevaluated. They really have to just stop building more hangars, bringing in more aircraft. I mean, we're sorry it happened. You don't want to see loss of life on anybody. But thank God it wasn't just a few hundred feet away. It could have been in a school. Now, the names of the two men who died have not been released yet. As for the neighbors' concerns, we reached out to both the new councilwoman for this district and Van Nuys Airport. We have not heard back yet, but as soon as we do, we'll let you know what both have to say. Reporting in Van Nuys, Lauren Posen, KCAL News. All right, looking forward to their responses. Thank you, Lauren.